So when I finally learned about this crazy newfangled concept that maybe you guys have heard of, it's called nutrition. I don't know. Functional nutrition? <laughs> <laughs> and it just completely changed my life. Without further ado, today we are talking about what is functional nutrition? That word is so foreign to so many people, doctors <laughs> in particular, and their patients that are struggling with a lot of food issues. So I want to shine a light on the solutions that functional nutrition uh, can be. I'd love for you to introduce you <laughs> to our functional nutritionist extraordinaire in Transform, Miss Ali Salmon. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yeah, so uh, my name is Allison. I go by Allie. And just don't call me late for dinner. Call me whatever you want. It's not late for dinner. <laughs> and I am a functional nutritionist. And I wasn't always. What's so funny is people who knew me long ago might be surprised. Or when I first got into this work, I've been doing this work for almost nine years. They were so surprised because I was not one of those people who was always a, a foodie or a nutrition person. I was a sick person for about 10 years of my life. I suffered with unexplained Me too. pain. <laughs> and so it's always so shocking. Like, oh, well, you know, they don't want to eat something in front of me because they're like, oh, Allie's going to see that. And oh, I'm being so bad. I'm like, I was you. It's I was, I was you. you. Me too. I, you too can transform your life. The sad thing is, is that for 10 years I was struggling going to doctors and specialists and not one person, not one in 10 years ever asked me about what I was eating. And I had no idea because I thought of myself as a healthy and uh, like a fitness enthusiast. And so I thought, I never, it just never occurred to me that I could possibly be eating something that was wrong because everything I was eating was low fat. Everything that I was eating was according to what all the magazines were saying. So why would I be having all of these issues? Why would I be having migraines and pain where I couldn't walk and people had to carry me sometimes? Why would I have bloating? Why would I not be pooping? Why would I have hormonal imbalance? Why was I so puffy? And why couldn't I lose this weight? All that the, for 10 years. And for me, I was like, why the hell did I have an autoimmune disease? Yeah, right. You're a and doctor. why is it getting so much worse? Right. 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 And so when I finally learned about this crazy newfangled concept that maybe you guys have heard of, it's called nutrition. I don't know. Functional nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> and it just completely changed my life. And the functional part of nutrition, like what differentiates it, is mm -hmm. that it's recognizing your own unique capabilities to heal. It's not a one size fits all, which is what I was following, which is what we're kind of trained to follow. Well, if not this, then that. And if not yeah. that, well, then you're screwed. That's <laughs> what it really comes down to. We cannot help you. There is no cure. And so it's taking diet and lifestyle. It's not just about the food, diet and lifestyle yeah. modifications to really just cultivate your body's own unique capabilities of healing. And so there's a physiological aspect. There's a psychological aspect. It's really comprehensive and it just is a game changer. I'd love for you to just highlight a couple of things that you've done before you even joined the transform team. Yeah. Hit me up. Hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I won an Emmy. <laughs> That's a completely different industry. Did win an Emmy. Yes. But I have been a functional nutritionist for the past nine years in yeah. private practice. I've worked with people with autoimmune conditions. I've worked with people. I've worked with military veterans. I've worked to help people get pregnant, people who are trying to get pregnant. I myself had my first baby naturally, naturally conceived, naturally delivered at 42. Woo! I didn't and I'm only 35. That. So how did that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really nine really by that count then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really, really passionate about helping people no matter what you've gone through. Because again, right. I had hormonal imbalance that I didn't know I had for almost like 15 years, at least 15 years. Oh, I had yeah. no idea. Oh yeah. And so all of that can actually be reversed. That's the beauty of all of this is no yep. matter what you're struggling with. When you find, when you figure out 
what your body needs and you give it the right tools, it wants to heal for you. And so that's what I love to do. My work started when I was actually in the entertainment business. I yep. was an assistant director and producer in television and film and everybody around me was sick, including me. Yeah. And so when I started to heal myself, everybody's going, what's she on? Why? Wow. How does she have so much energy? I didn't drink coffee. Yeah. I didn't drink soda and I didn't smoke cigarettes. And so they're like, what? You're never going to make it in this business. And why do you have so much energy? And so slowly everybody started coming to me and I was like, I think I'm supposed to do something else with my career because I also had a family history. There's tragedy in my family history. Mm -hmm. So around the same time when I started struggling with chronic pain, my dad died at 50 years old. Yeah. And if I showed you a picture, you would never believe me that this is a man who died of heart disease that we never knew he had because he yeah. looked perfect. And so that's the yeah. other thing that I, I preach all of the time is it doesn't matter what you look like on the inside. He had a ticking time bomb and yeah. his doctor ignored, didn't even investigate further because he's like, ah, you exercise all the time. You're fine. Yeah. He died on a tennis court of all places. This is very similar to my experience with my own autoimmunity. And then I was diagnosed first in my family and I had to pretty much diagnose myself basically. And after I was diagnosed, I had the rest of my family tested and my mom tested positive for an autoimmune disease. And she said, I feel fine and I look fine. No, thank you. Right. Mm. That's tough because for me, you know, five years later, she came down with ALS, Lou Gehrig's and she died. And we are going to find out later that a lot of these disease states are people don't know the cause of Lou Gehrig's and ALS, but uh, research is coming closer to closer to genetics and autoimmunity with it. So to me, that is a preventable death. And it breaks my heart that I wasn't able to convince or influence my mom but I love the fact that you and I, by our own suffering and by our own results, have been able to show as an example to other people that we can, that you absolutely can turn around some very difficult and impossible to deal with solutions. Yeah. As a functional nutritionist, what you do is so different than what a nutritionist and a dietitian that people typically see. Like yeah. my only experience as an MD, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, I've been an MD for 26 years. And I would say the only training I ever had on diet and nutrition in my first 10 years of practice was when I became a diabetic myself during my pregnancy, which we now know it's autoimmune people. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a 30 minute one time session with a hospital dietitian who told me that it was okay for me to eat toast and chips and stuff as long as the numbers matched up. You know, it's not a certain right. under a certain number of carbs. And yeah. my blood sugars were through the roof during my pregnancy. And, you know, it was very challenging. It was the beginning of my autoimmune diseases, really. So, so many solutions, but yet regular doctors are, have little to no training, 30 minutes because I was a diabetic. And when you look at a hospital dietitian and a nutritionist, none of that is a personalized approach. Literally, here's a sheet on how to follow a diabetic diet. Good luck, 30 minutes and you're out the door. Yeah. So yeah. what you're talking about is the whole kit and caboodle, yeah. uh, the holy grail of like, how do you deliver a comprehensive solution for comprehensive problems for very ch changeable problems that doesn't look like they are. It's usually that they, they get that sheet and it's a whole long list of foods and they're like, now what, what do, what do I do with this? They don't know. And so okay. what we do is figure out how it works for you. Okay. Not following this list, but how does food and you, your physiology fit because you're unique. And also what happens if this list of things doesn't work for you? And that's Which happens how most you get of the time when people right. get into elimination diets. <laughs> right. That's how we get into this hell. It's like, but this doesn't work and I can't eat this and I can't eat that. And, and what do we do? And so, well, you know, it there, all matters. And that's part of what the functional nutrition approach does is it's not just about the food. And everybody always wants to know, just tell me what to eat. It's not that simple.